All right, Nick, let's talk about the Nebraska Cornhuskers. This is a team that's been doing a lot of great things, especially in the recruiting field. We know Matt Rule has said that he wants Nebraska to be the developmental football team of the future. They're going to pump out the best recruits in the country. And how do you get that other than getting ahead of the game and finding the early talent? And they've made a very interesting move here, I think, to a young recruit that I think has a lot of potential. Let's get into the article and we talk more about what it all means on the other side. This, of course, is from All Huskers. It says Nebraska Corn Huskers have a specific recruiting strategy for certain prospects that have proved to work in the past. Nebraska and a few other programs make it a point to recruit young underclassmen to show initiative and develop a relationship with the recruit early on. The Huskers recently offered a class of 2027 wide receiver, meaning he will enter his sophomore season next season. Damar Desern, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, could be wrong, is a receiver at Bishop Almany High School in Mission Hills, California, and he recently set the state record and U.S. freshman record in the 60 meters at 6.78 seconds, blazing fast. I think this is a very interesting move. They obviously see potential in the speed and, you know, this wide receiver uh, coming into his sophomore season. Nick, I'm curious what your thoughts are and about this move for the Cornhuskers, but Nebraska fans, in the comment section below, what do you think of Matt Rule's recruiting style so far? I know we haven't really gotten to see it come into effect, but he's made a lot of very interesting moves and a lot of really interesting plays. We've covered it throughout our videos in the past. He's done crazy stuff as parking a tractor trailer truck outside of someone's school. He's done a lot of interesting stuff. Do you think this unorthodox, I guess, method of recruiting is good, or do you think that a more ortho, like a more standard approach to recruiting is the better way to do it? Let us know in the comment section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on this latest move by Matt Rule? Yeah, so I, I think it reminds me, and Miles, I know you you know that I'm a big fan of Shark Tank and the TV show. I think it's a, a really entertaining show, and it reminds me of hearing about those big investors, what they do when it comes to those companies they invest on Shark Tank, those like mom and pops, where basically to them, their strategy, if you ever hear them talk offline, it's like they're throwing out flyers early, right? These are obviously very small companies, early stage, and it says, listen, I'm worth $500 million, one of the investors, right? If I bet $50,000 on 10 of these companies, I'm just hoping one of them pops for 5 million. I know nine out of the 10 are going to fail, but if one of these pops, I'm going to make an incredible amount of money and I'm not risking my core business, right? All these, all those guys on that show obviously are wealthy and you know, doing their other main business activities. They're not risking any of that money. They're not bet betting that business. They're throwing small incremental little dollars off to the side, marginal dollars on these small little companies as flyers. And they chance one out of every five or one out of every 10 hits. And if it does, Huge home run. Awesome. That's the exact same mentality Matt Rule is sitting here, right? This isn't a kid from Nebraska. This isn't a kid from Texas, the two states, of course, that Matt Rule is doing a really phenomenal job focusing on. This isn't a Midwest kid. This is a West Coast freshman who just had a lot of – just an incredible speed showing, right? It looks like he could become a high kind of elite-level athlete. And this is just a flyer, right? This is just Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank taking a flyer on a company saying, that, look, you're early. You could become a star. But I want to be early, where if you do become a just a redunculous superstar athlete, I want to be the first guy in the door. That way you come to me. That way I have the biggest return on my investment. That's what this is from Matt Rule. And this strategy only works if you feel confident and have true success recruiting locally, which Matt Rule has. I love you brought up the tractor trailer story. That was a great one. And it works. It only works if you're doing well recruiting outside of that, which we know Nebraska has done as well, most notably with Riola, but they've done a solid job in the state of Texas. You've got your core basis covered. You have your core business covered and improving. That's what Matt Rule has done in recruiting. Now he's taking flyers. Now he's sitting there and saying, okay, I want to be early on this other investment because I handled everything, my core business early. That's exactly what this is from Matt Rule, and I think it's a really smart strategy. Yeah, Nick, I think it's great because it's like you said, they're focusing on Texas, Nebraska. Those are the areas that they're most you know, committed to doing the deepest research early on. But when you see these guys in the surrounding states, the Floridas, the Californias, even, you know, the you know, Southeast, those football regions that are really good. But you see something different out of a guy like this case where someone sets a speed record for track and field where someone has, you know, maybe you see an offensive lineman in a powerlifting competition or something that has a really impressive squat, something crazy, you know, something that catches your eye. 
like you said, there's no harm, no foul in being like, okay, maybe there's some potential here. I'm going to go ahead and give you an offer because at the end of the day, we all know how permanent these things are and it's not very permanent. You can always take those back. They can always decide to go somewhere else. These verbal commitments, really nothing to them, but it does show that you have interest and you see potential. And if you're the first one to come up to this young man and be like, hey, I really like what you did. It's on the track field, but I think you can convert it. I think you're going to be successful on the football field as well. I want to go ahead and show you that I trust you. I want you to come to my football program. Like you said, they're going to feel special about it. They come to your program, and you know if three, four, five of these guys come in and only one of them hits it off, that's pretty good odds for you because there really isn't a ton of you know investment of resources on your side. You're not recruiting. You're not doing a whole bunch of research. You're seeing something that's interesting. Is you know a point of recruitment that you like to follow, like speed, strength, agility. You know someone has a really good game one season. Go ahead and offer them. You know I think it's a very interesting strategy by Matt Rule to focus on what he knows and then kind of look for little interesting points. Uh, you know, kind of outside of the the realm of what you would regionally consider to be good, and then capitalize on those. Try to bring those guys into the program. And one of them, you know, is a conversion. You feel really good about that as well.